just want to make a quick video about what I'm doing. Here's the skid plate, truck skid. Just sheared off that bolt, so I need another bolt, a punch to get that out. But here's what we're gonna do. This is my machine, my, my machine from last year, and uh, yeah, and the year before. Anyway, that was my backup machine. That was the one I started with. So we're gonna take this handle and this this base plate, and we are going to put it on. This machine, this Predator 420cc key start that my uncle gave me, but he's a little crazy because he does small engine repair. And this was only ran for either a half hour or an hour, and it was used to pump something out. So I don't know if they took off the pump and then, or what, but somehow he obtained this. I do need to drain the gas, and he told me to drain the gas out of the bowl. He gave me a key that would work for this, but this is not the original key. And they're pretty much universal, so I just ordered it from Harbor Freight. It was like sixteen eleven, so fourteen ninety nine with tax. And here's the crazy part: he took the mu the muffler off because he was going to use it as a backup for his for his GX Honda GX three ninety machine. So I've already ordered that. That was about thirty dollars through Amazon. Uh, you can't really get a replacement part through them through Harbor Freight. So, and then I also ordered a um, Vivor, I think it's 440 or 4,400 PSI with, or something like that, with 4.4 uh, gallons per minute um, direct drive. So yeah, we're not gonna be pulling water, but then this is another thing I don't understand is how Simpson uses these machines for their trailers that have 150 gallon water tank on them and somehow it pulls water. Can anyone in the comments explain that to me? So then uh, I'm going to, rather than use a brand new one for that machine over there, uh, this uh, drains it, should fit it. Uh, it's the same exact one that's on my GX390. So that plate will go on that machine. This machine will come off and just be completely just a house machine. Uh, I don't even know if I'll even use it. But yeah, and then we're gonna have to get some stainless steel parts, like some quick connects and stuff for the other machine uh, once the pump gets here. And yeah, so that'll sit here. I haven't got a battery for it yet, but I'll get that figured out. I just wanted to show what I was doing uh, beforehand, before the video actually came out. So. so I got that temporarily mounted on there. I think it turned out real well. I'm trying to figure out my configuration. That thing up. Moving on. <coughs> I'm just using that Simpson skid and the bolts do fit through, so. 14 millimeter by two inch shaft on the on the bolt, so oh, nuts and bolts, yeah. But yeah, I got this huge mess over here. But yep, we'll get back to some of the upgrades. I don't know how soon the pump will be in. I don't know, uh, you know when some of these other parts will be in too, so. Kinda wish I would've just bought another one of these. Quantity two, so. Yeah, then I wanted to get a Flow Pro, uh, which that's what that is, but they had a uh, remote, you know, so. But that's probably not gonna happen. When I'm assuming that all the prices of everything's gonna be going up so but yeah thanks for watching and we'll have some more videos to come on to get this out before the new year here is the vivor 4.4 gallon per minute pump 
I believe it's 4,000 PSI. There's all the stuff that goes with it. I know about the drain plug. I want to get this out before the end of the year. We're not changing anything on that guy. Oh, and then I've got an hour meter. I'm still waiting on the exhaust. So here it sits, and I finally got the right bolt from uh, Home Depot. I just wanted it close to the original. And then that V-Vor pack, it also comes with the extra key for your shaft. So, yeah, it's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. And it's been a lazy couple days. Now I'm painting someone's bathroom. It'll be the last job of the year as well. It'll be done tomorrow, which will be New Year's Eve. Everybody have a great New Year, great New Year's Eve. Be safe. Don't shoot guns up in the air. And blah, blah, blah. We got some fireworks too.